And these are these are uh, called lock-on bands. Now these guys, because they're chicks, it's not necessarily needed because they might pick at these a couple of days and then they don't care. But if you put a band like a regular butt end band that just goes together like this on an adult bird, they don't like it, right? For a few days, and they they're strong enough to pull it off. These these will fold over, um, and I crimp it down, but. And so it's good for adults. We use them on chicks, but if we butt end banded these, they, they wouldn't take them off. Oh, yeah. it'll, it'll be a few days they might take a you know, see it. Hmm. How about this leg? <laughs> so you're going to do them all on their right leg? Yeah, we, we pretty much do that uh, as a matter of practice here. You have their hatch date, right? Yeah. First one was February second. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm just checking to make sure it fits. Now you see. Hey. Yeah, Rachel's got a spreadsheet. See that? Nice fit. Not too tight. Not too loose. And you, even though these guys have adult legs pretty quickly, sometimes their feet are a little small, and you don't want to put an adult-sized band on. It might fit good on the leg, but you don't want it to slip over and. So this is perfect. Get I mean, it past a, their knee. Yeah, it's a nice fit. All right. <laughs> All right. He's got bling. It's going to be a tough one. One of these is guys going to dump on me, I know. <laughs> That's, the one. That's either the smallest or the second smallest. I don't know. Do you have the smallest one, Cheryl? That's yeah. got to be the second to the last. That's number four. We we do we will do um, weighing. In fact, do you have a wing cord in there uh, in the toolbox. We, no. We've done so much of that that we, it's kind of redundant after a while. Really, we only do it on the adults. Yeah. And I think uh, somebody was posting uh, wing measurements. I'll, I'll show you what that is. One of the things and weight. Weight can, hey. weight can be a little bit um, deceiving. If they just finished eating a mouse or a rat, that's a lot of their Maybe body twice weight. Twice their body know. weight. So, but um, I'll show you when I finish this guy. I'll show you where we measure wings because you can equate age uh, with feather growth on the primary. Oh, they can see great. And they in the light too. Oh yeah, yeah. No, they, they don't need the dark. Oh, the parents don't go back into the nest now, do they, to, to perch or sleep or what? Um, because last well, night it looked like an adult was in there. Was it one of Unless the it was that guy. I get it. Yeah. They looked like yeah, the mom went in last yeah. night. She didn't stay in there a little she bit. She came in there and took some trash out, scratched yeah. around a bit. In oh fact, yeah, I saw that video of her trashing the camera. Yeah, in fact, you were you had a request to clean the cam lens and I to will. spray some uh, soap. <laughs> yeah. But, but I've seen her there in the daytime too, though, right? Uh, well, the if she's, females she's, not been roosting and they're not recently, not yeah. in the day. It's just the chicks. Their wings are deceiving because they're. She's a, a week ago. This is the good. Uh, it could have been or maybe a week ago. This is 41. This might be the smallest Hi, one. Is that what we decided? I think Cheryl's got the smallest baby. Okay. He's sleeping. Um, yeah, and, and what happens um, often is um, they'll come back, some of them, especially like that guy will fledge probably a few days before the other ones. He'll be able to fly and might yeah. be out and about. And then I remember the, the littlest guy last year, kind of, he was in there a few yeah, days. Yeah, tiny, hung in yeah. there for a while. And, um, and then... <clears throat> Yeah, and then they'll go out, and sometimes they come back, and then by the end of the summer, well, probably July or so, when the parents are like, you're on your own, you know, make it or not, then the parents come back and start hanging out oh, and, yeah. and roosting in the cabin. And then they start their own. Yeah. Okay, this is 41, Cheryl. Started another nest? What? 41. Well, that, I talked to Pete Bloom about that, and that there are records about this is 41 here. Because she's not around that much. No, but... It can happen in really good years. And the other thing, too, about um, territories with these guys, he told me that he's been in a, a barn before where there are eight pairs of barn owls in the same barn with, with different stages of chicks or broods or eggs or whatever. And there's not a lot of territorial problem 
with hunting overlap, which which I thought. I mean, a lot of that with diurnal birds of prey, red shoals, and all that. They kind of, you know, this is my space, this is your space. But these guys are, are, are they're not communal, but they get along yeah. a little better. But and if the mother was starting another brood, would she still keep feeding these guys? The, the male tends to start keep bringing in oh, the food okay. for these guys. So they, somehow they know yeah. they're still supposed to feed them. So when we, we try to get um, ages from, well, you take a scale with a, it's like a ruler with a little edge on it like that, and you put it up against the shoulder right here, and you bring it out to the end here, and it's called the wing cord. And those measurements are fairly consistent with growth. Oh, you know, okay. within several millimeters, you say, okay, it's 205 millimeters. This bird is four and a half weeks old or something like that. I mean, I don't know if that's accurate, but that's the concept. Let's see this um, one's breast. Is there any spots? No, oh, this guy doesn't have anything on it. Oh, they can't tell yet. Yeah. He's all fluffy. Yeah, and his tail feather, I mean, just, just starting, yeah. he's got about inch tail feathers coming out. I would bet these guys are only a day apart. Yeah. yeah, the first two, you know, it's interesting, we were, we were talking about that the first two, the eggs were two days apart. Yeah. I think it was the second or the fourth, but they hatched about a day apart. Right. And um, and I think the overall hatching might have been just a few days shorter, but... It was um, real, real close yeah. to the same as the egg yeah. laying, and real that's close. that's why, you know, the, the littlest guys... I always remember they were born the day after New Year's. I mean, they started laying the day after New yep. Year's. Yep. Second. Yeah. I remember when I look at the videos when they were little, it looks so funny. They look no. like little rats. <laughs> I called or Pete and told him, go to turn the one. audio on now or you're not going to get a chance. For the hatchlings, do they have to worry about predators? Well, in this tree, um, this is a tough one for Bob. The bobcats have gone up in some of our hawk nests and eaten young. This one, it would probably be a tough climb for a climbing predator. Yeah, great horned owl could come in. Um, I think the adults might take a little bit of a stand, but it's a pretty good nest tree because um, it's, it's so smooth and, but I've, I've seen several nests where you go up and you see the claw marks of a bobcat or something up there and chicks are gone. What about the boxes? Do they get preyed on? What? The boxes? Um, the boxes we set up to try to keep them predator proof because they're kind of hanging, hanging and down. If right. really, even a raccoon or whatever would have a little bit of the time to get That's in there. good. Yeah, we don't want to create death traps for these guys. Is there a difference between the male and the female? Is there, is there coloring in the sides? Females have spots on their chest. Yeah, it's, and that's sort of different. Most of the birds of prey, the males have a little bit more, and in birds in general, look a little more colorful. But the females have tend to have more spots on so them. And they're a little a little larger than males. You can tell that males don't have spots. I need one. The females just have more spots. I think that one's a female. Is it all the spots? Well, you know, it could be, but that, that doesn't look very big to me, so. I, it's hard to tell. I, I, I'm no, Pete's really good at this. I, I don't, Cheryl, you probably, you've seen a heck of a lot more than I have. This is uh, 42. Pete, what about mating? Do they instinctively know if they're siblings? Or can birds actually... I, I think it's, it's fairly widespread now that, that that's not an issue with birds of prey. Really? Yeah. I mean, the chances of them coming back together and mating... Or it it could happen, and, and I don't think there's a genetic problem. I, right. I'm pretty sure that's true with um, Oops, with uh, diurnal raptors. Um, I don't know for sure, but... Um, How many barn owls do you think you have out here? It's probably 12 or 15 pairs. 